Manipulating and editing images has become very easy using AI. All these images were edited and manipulated from a single image. In this video, I am going to go through the step by step process of how you can manipulate and edit any image including your own image into imagination. For that we are going to use Leonardo AI's image to image feature and there are a couple of more steps that you need to follow in order to get your desired result. If you do not have access to Leonardo.ai, the same feature is available in Playground.ai. I will also cover that but not in full detail. To start manipulating images in Leonardo.ai, visit the website and click on AI image generation. As you can see, these are all the images that I generated and manipulated and these are all the tests that I went through. Now, if you have alchemy, it is good, but we are going to turn off alchemy and then go down right here into the image to image section. You can select any image by double clicking and then select an image from your PC. Once you've finalized your image, just go up here, write a prompt. As you can see, this is a basic prompt that I've written and then you can copy and paste a negative prompt from the community feed. Now, once you've done that, just click on any fine tuned model, preferably Dream Shaper, and then click on generate. These are the final results of our prompt. Now I will show you some other examples. Let's use this prompt. So I'm going to reuse this prompt and the negative prompt will be this. So now I'll use Dream Shaper 7 and I've written Dragon Ball Z Goku standing flexing. You can set your image strength from right here. If I decrease the image strength, the image will be affected by the prompt more. But if I increase the image strength, then the image will remain somewhat similar. Now I have decreased the image strength to 0.43 and let's click on generate. It has come up with some amazing images as you can see right here. Let's try changing this image. So I'll use another image. I'll use this image itself. Now I'll upload this image. Now let's click on generate once again. So those of you who do not use Leonardo.ai, you can also go to open AI. It has the same features that Leonardo.ai has, but it is just that it is somewhat less efficient. So you can go right here and then you can remix any image. So just go to remix. And once you're, once you've opened the board editor, right here, you have the image to image. So you can upload the same image right here and write a prompt and then just click on generate. You can also select the model from right here and then just click on any option and then click on generate and you will get somewhat the same results. The setting image strength is also right here. So those of you who do not use Leonardo.ai can also go to playground AI. It does not even need an access. It is completely free. Getting back to Leonardo.ai. Now, once you have generated this image and you want to keep this face same, what you can do is you can open this particular image in the canvas editor and then erase this part of the image where you want to keep the face. So just erase this part of the image where you want to keep the face and then upload that particular image, the original face, decrease the size of the canvas, select the erase tool and erase everything other than the face. So let's erase the whole image. Now just drag and drop this particular face into this portion and now increase the size, decrease the size of this image 
as you can see it looks a bit bigger than usual and then place it into this push section right here just drag this bounding box on top and write a prompt face comma jawline and it will fill in this space which is left so we'll erase this part to make it a bit convenient As you can see, I got my desired image with the face features that I wanted. And this is one way you can edit your own images into your desired result. Click on accept and then you can just download the image. I chose an image of Dwayne Johnson, uploaded it right here. I set the strength to 0.45 and kept the prompt same. Iron Man armor red and golden with destroyed Iron Man armor. So. This is what the result looks like. So just within few clicks, you can convert any of your image into something like this. Let's move on to the next way that you can edit your own images. So let's leave this right here. Go back to community feed. And now whichever image you like from the community feed, just click on that image and then you can remix that particular image. So I'm going to remix this particular image. Just click on remix. And this has alchemy turned on. So I'm going to turn on my alchemy. For those of you who do not have alchemy, choose images which do not use alchemy for better results. And let's go down and check the strength. The strength is okay. Let's try clicking on generate. Before I go any further, I forgot to change the aspect ratio. It is 9 is to 16. Let's regenerate. And this is what the image looks like after regenerating. If I keep the strength of the image a bit higher, I may get some better results. In fact, if I keep the strength of the image a bit lower, I may get some varied results. Let's try another image. So there are many interesting ways of how you can manipulate your images. Now this also was created using alchemy. This as well, I guess. Yes. So a lot of images right here are created using alchemy. We need an image which is not created using alchemy. So I've selected this image. I'm going to click on remix and I'm going to turn off the alchemy. I'm just going to use the prompt. Let's go down and set the strength to 3.5. And let's go right here. Select three images and aspect ratio is set. Just click on generate now. Let's generate one set of images using absolute reality also. As you can see, these are the results. And these are all the different images of one same image which we uploaded. So this is one way you can start editing different images into different styles from just remixing. These are some more variations of the same image. Now, now we can just click on this option to take it into canvas editor and edit it there by uploading the image that you want the face of and placing it next to the other image and then repeat the same process. So this was it for the video. If you liked the video then subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content and part 2 of this video soon.